Hey guys, uh, this is uh, day two after I got my walleye direct order. Last night I had deep fried yellow perch. Absolutely delicious. Just phenomenal tasting fish. Very happy. Tonight I've got some walleye out and I'm going to do a recipe that's a little healthier tonight. It's baked walleye and um, it calls for four fillets. I've actually got five here. Um, got them skinned, even though they came with skin on, I may not be able to get my old broken body down to the river to catch these guys anymore, but I can still, still wield a fillet knife. Uh, the other ingredients are uh, six to eight tablespoons of melted butter. Of course, I'm going to use real, but real butter. 50% uh, Danish, why would I use anything else? Um, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and I don't have a fresh lemon. Limes, but no lemon, and um, I think it'll be all right. One tablespoon. Um, onion, it calls for two tablespoons of finely chopped onion, and this goes on top of it. Uh, I have got the best onion in the world, and that is the Walla Walla onion, the Walla Walla sweet. Uh, absolutely amazing onion. You can eat these things like an apple. Uh, this time of year is my favorite time of year. <laughs> I have a lot of them on hand. Calls for a little salt and pepper. Doesn't say how much, so I'm sure it's to taste. And fresh ground is always best for the pepper. And I like to use kosher salt. It also calls for mushrooms. One third of a cup. And I'm going a little overboard here. And it didn't specify what kind. But I have got some dried morel mushrooms here. That um, are absolutely delicious. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have more than a third of a cup. But I like, I like mushrooms, and these are real mild tasting mushrooms, and I think they're going to go well with the walleye. So, yeah, like I say, baked recipe. Um, apparently it came out of a fishing magazine years ago. I found it online today, and I'm um, going to try it, change up a little bit from the fried fish. So, here we go. Let's uh, put all the stuff together. Next up, got my melted butter here, and I've got my tablespoon of lemon juice, I believe that's what it was, yep, tablespoon of lemon juice, going to mix that in with it. I've got my salt and pepper to taste, there's probably, oh, I don't know, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of both, throw that in there. And even though the recipe didn't call for it, uh, you know, you just can't beat tarragon, and I don't have any fresh, but there's about a teaspoon of dried tarragon there. And we'll let that soak for a couple seconds and soften up a little bit. I've, I've never had fish that um, tarragon didn't work well with. And the light fish like um, all halibut and walleye perch uh, lend themselves real well to it. The next step is to coat the uh, walleye with the butter. Okay, next step is to go ahead and put the mushrooms and the onion over it. I've definitely got more than a third of a cup of mushrooms here, probably closer to a half a cup. But uh, morel mushrooms are just so so delicate and so light. Figured I'd put a few more in. Okay, now the onion. This, I'm really leery about this. Calls for two tablespoons. Uh, there's probably a tablespoon there, maybe a little more, and I just really finely, uh, finely chopped it. I don't want any overpowering onion, and even though these are Walla Walla sweets, and I don't know, there's just something that's telling me, you know, careful with the onion. So we're not going to probably, yeah, I think that's enough right there. I just don't want to go overboard. And then um, the next instruction is to spoon the rest of the butter mixture over the top of it. Mix it up and get all that nice tarragon and pepper off the bottom. Into the oven it goes. 350 for 15 to 20 minutes until the fish flakes. Well, there's the timer. Uh, I ended up giving this 20 minutes. It wasn't quite done at 15. Time to see what we got here. Nice, real nice. Barely smell that onion. I hope I didn't put too much onion in it. I was really worried about that.
You really got to think about it, about with that onion. It's just, it's it's there, but it isn't there. So, less than a half a table, or less than a tablespoon is what I would suggest in a sweet onion. Mmm, the tarragon is really good. I'm glad I had that. It, it, tarragon's amazing with fish. Um, lemon is there, but again, it's not overpowering. Uh, the morel mushrooms are real light. Um, I'm glad I put extra, probably double, of the morels in. I wouldn't do it with button mushrooms. Mmm, wow. Nothing overpowers this fish. It's just got a really, really clean taste. The walleye tastes exactly like it should, but it's complemented with the mushrooms, the tarragon, Salt, pepper, lemon juice, and the butter. Uh, onions, you could probably leave the onions out and it wouldn't affect the taste much. They're really that mild and I'm glad I didn't put any more in. Um, the walleye itself, um, kudos to Jesse and the crew at Walleye Direct. Um, this is just absolutely amazing stuff worth every dime. Wow. I recommend this recipe. Mmm.